Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of Vera Cruz Amethyst. Now, what on earth is Vera Cruz Amethyst? Amethyst, I'm sure if you have at least a remote interest in crystals, you've heard of good old Amethyst, which is found in very locations around the world. It's the purple variety of quartz and it comes in a whole range of shades and is found in different localities. Now, there are certain localities around the world including one place in Mexico known as Veracruz, which gives distinctly beautiful and powerful amethyst. And Veracruz in Mexico is one of those places. Now these crystals, whereas amethyst normally grows in these big clusters or you see the caves, this tends to have these long terminations and really soft and gentle colors. This will have still the properties of your regular amethyst, but slightly enhanced because of its clarity of color and softness of color as well. In this video, I want to explore with you all the different ways you can work with Veracruz amethyst in particular, along with the normal amethyst traits, but some little bonus ones that Veracruz gives to you as well. Veracruz amethyst is renowned for inducing beta waves within the brain. Now, what are they? They're not actually the relaxing ones. They're the ones when you're very attentive focused and uh, you know directed at something problem solving and working things through this can be really great on a day-to-day -day basis because if you think about all that we have to do in a day how would you like to be a little bit more focused yet calm and able to kind of tackle the challenges that life brings up well this is exactly where Vera Cruz is going to be great it's a great one to wear or to carry with you to keep you calm and graceful throughout the day we all know that life throws a lot of different challenges at us and a lot of curveballs. And if we're able to stay centered, calm, but within that beta ways where we're able to solve the problems as they come up, rather than just kind of glossing over them, ignoring them or being overwhelmed by them, then we're gonna be far more successful. So this is not only a great crystal for spiritual awakening, which we'll talk about in just a moment, but also really great just during the day to allow you to be on point and exactly where you need to be. The perfect balance of not too stressed and overwhelmed, but not too calm that you're not able to perform either. In that beta wave or beta brain waves, that's gonna be an ideal situation to be throughout the day and Vera Cruz will help you to maintain that. Recently, I've really been drawn to Vera Cruz Amethyst and it's gentle but caring energy it has about it. If it was a person, it is so considerate and kind. Now, this is definitely a high vibration crystal and is associated with kind of helping us through our ascension. It can, because of its gentle energy, it can help us to connect with our guides and our angels and that type of thing. However, what I love about it, it brings in this kind of humbleness or this humility in its energy. Sometimes I feel that when it comes to spirituality, there can be a bit of a competition and, oh, look what I can do or look where I am and the ego kind of kicks in and you can see some competition in spiritual or new age circles sometimes. Vera Cruz Amethyst reminds us that every soul on this planet is here to fulfill a different function. So that means we're all heading in different directions with a final end in place. So how can we compete if we're going in different directions? This is a really great crystal to show kindness and compassion for those that are less on their journey. Now that may be people that are just starting off on their spiritual journey and asking dumbass questions. Or it could be for people that you interact with at work or in your family or so on that aren't really into spirituality and just don't quite get the frequency of crystals or you know that there might be something else out there or how to work with angels and that type of thing. This crystal has this kind of really kind patience and compassion and understanding for allowing people to kind of go at their own pace and to embrace them for that and to support them in that rather than judge them for not being where you are on your spiritual journey. I think this is a really important trait of Vera Cruz Amethyst to have that humility of, yeah, you may be doing really well. You may have had some great advances, but also to remember that we all evolve together. We're only as strong as our weakest link and to treat others with kindness rather than despise them or you know, scoff at their ignorance or their lack of understanding at any point in time. Vera Cruz Amethyst is renowned for helping us to connect with our guides, our totems, and especially our angels. 
Now, many of us are interested in working with angels or working with our guides, but then we live this fast-paced life and we're like, come on, angels, I need you to drop in while I'm speeding down the freeway and tell me exactly what I'm going to do with my life. This is where sitting and having that energy of Vera Cruz around can be really nice. Although it can help us with those beta waves in our brain to be in that focused state, it can also allow us to be calm in that state as well. And this is a great crystal for meditation and slowing down. Of course, when our angels and our guides are trying to communicate with us, they can't always appear at the end of the bed and tell you what you're meant to do the next day. Now use subtle signs and signals and synchronicities. By aligning with the energy of Vera Cruz, you'll start to come into this more centered and calm space. You'll start to notice little things that maybe your guides and your angels are showing you. We need to slow down in order to hear what the other spiritual realms are sharing with us and kind of take our focus off what's happening in the mundane world and see those other things that are happening in the other realms, whether it be in our meditation, whether it be with something like astral projection, or whether it be just opening your awareness beyond what is kind of grabbing your attention right now. This is where Vera Cruz Amethyst can be really helpful. So what I recommend is try wearing this throughout the day to keep you focused and alert, but also a bit more alert beyond just what's happening in the immediate area but also try sitting and meditating with it at night. You know, this is a really great crystal for that crown chakra. And just like regular amethyst, how it helps us to expand our spiritual connection is not by doing more, it's by doing less. So how can you find some spaciousness in your day? Whether it be 10 or 20 minutes just to lay down or to sit outside with no intention whatsoever apart from just to be. Now for a first week or two, not much may happen, but you may find after a period of time your awareness changes. You notice just different things around you, in you. A bird keeps catching your attention. You notice a feather. Maybe a tree is moving or, or waving at you in one way or the wind picks up. Any of these types of things can be signs from our angels just making that first connection that, yes, we're here. We're trying to communicate with you and it allows you to communicate with them. Remember when it comes to communicating with angels or guides, talk to them like you're, they're a friend. And if you think you're getting a sign from them, but you're not too sure, what would you say to a friend if you didn't understand what they're talking about? I'm sorry, it's not clear. Could you please repeat that or say that in a different way? Say exactly the same thing with the angels. You can speak out loud or you can just put that intention out. And over time, like any relationship, it'll strengthen. But keeping your Vera Cruz near you will allow you to drop into the right space, to be open and aware of what your angels and your other guides are trying to connect with you and say to you. When you've been working with Vera Cruz Amethyst a lot, it's a really great idea to cleanse it. Now, typically I tend to cleanse my amethyst either with water or under the full moon. And Vera Cruz Amethyst, I tend to lean towards the full moon because of its high spiritual nature. Now, we can also work with the other kingdoms when we're working with our Vera Cruz Amethyst. Just like regular amethyst, the essential oil that really comes to mind for this is lavender. Lavender really helps us to be calm, to be open, and to be honest. And these attributes, I think, are really valuable when coming to work with Vera Cruz amethyst as well. Now, during the day, there is another oil that actually has dropped into my mind that really seems to resonate with this crystal. It's a blend by my favorite company that I've chosen to align with, known as doTERRA. Now this blend is known as Adaptive and it's got eight different oils in it. It has four calming oils in lavender, neroli, magnolia, and copa eva, which really help us to stay calm and relaxed throughout the day. However, we don't wanna be falling asleep and some of those oils, especially the lavender, neroli, and magnolia, could send us to sleep. So in there, there are also three focus oils, wild orange, rosemary, and spearmint. And what I love about spearmint is spearmint is really great for helping to open our awareness to more subtle things in the spiritual realms. And the Greeks and the Romans in the past have used it exactly for that. And then you've got this final oil, which is a resin from a Chinese tree known as sweet gum or liquid amber. And that is a bit of an adaptogenic essential oil, which allows us to adapt to different things. So would you like to be calm, focused, and able to adapt? Well, Adaptive, the blend by doTERRA, allows you to do that. And diffusing it or wearing it aromatic or topically can be really quite beneficial. And that's what I've been talking about with Vera Cruz as well. It allows you to be calm, focused, and able to deal or adapt with the situations and challenges that the day comes up with. So that can be a really nice one to work with as well with your Vera Cruz. 
the astrologically this really resonates with Jupiter bit very expansive um, very um, bold very kind of when I'm calm I can grow and when I give myself space I can expand and of course Jupiter rules Thursday so any major working that you want to do with your Vera Cruz amethyst would be really great to do on a Thursday so try and wear your um, your Vera Cruz amethyst with you or carry it with you throughout the day it's going to help you to merge that spiritual with the physical but it's also going to help you start to notice those little subtle hints at spiritual, um, that you know your spiritual guides are trying to bring to you throughout the day. It's an absolutely divine crystal, and if you don't have it in your collection yet, it's definitely worth looking out for. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrow. Blessed be.